Maxim Palace, obviously, and they are in amongst a gloriously verdant field of Waltheria plants and grasses. Why are his horns so dirty? Why have you got such dirty horns? He's also got a slightly twitchy lip, of course. Now, what's interesting, I think, about this male impala is the fact that his neck is getting thick. We've headed into the beginnings of the rut, where these impala will start to replace the very baby impala as the most vulnerable members of their society, on account of the fact that they will not be concentrating on anything other than the sex over the next two or three months. And that thickening of the neck is brought about by an increase in testosterone, so much like a gym bunny or uh, what these days passes off as an athlete would look like after an injection or two of anabolic steroids. That's exactly what's going on here, except this, of course, is not an injection, but uh, an increase in very natural testosterone that results in the neck muscles getting much larger. And that's in order that they can cope with the massive, well, very traumatic bashing of heads together, which is going to take place fairly soon. And then in the background, you can hear the monotonous lark. I think it's quite a nice call. I can see why it's called monotonous, though. It does tend to sound a bit monotonous after a while. Isn't that a pretty picture of those impala? I'm looking forward to going to Cheetah Plains at some stage as well to have a look in those clearings for the interesting birds. I think that's gorgeous. Cole, you say are impala about the same size as a white-tailed deer. I think they're slightly smaller, if I'm not mistaken. I would, and I'm guessing here, I think a white-tailed deer would probably be about the size of, say, a Nyala bull, which weighs up to about 100 kilograms, or 220 pounds, and I think that's probably about the size of a white-tailed deer. I'm trying to think if I've ever seen a white-tailed deer, and I think I have. I think I saw one in a few of them in Rocky Mountain National Park. Is that possible? I feel like I should know that. But I think they're roughly, they're just slightly smaller than the white-tailed deer. Let's have one last look at them, and then we'll reverse and see if we can't see the monotonous lark that is making that noise. Pachoo-pachoo! Pachoo-pachoo!